which, with whom I worked when I did my PhD studies. Since then, one of them has passed away. So there's two of them now. And so, so the agency for me to do something about preserving that cultural knowledge, which they could use in agriculture to design their own messages for the community. But they will also have to teach others, the public in the community, to interpret what the message is for. So that's a skill that's generally going out very soon if we don't record anything. So, so I thought participatory video would be the way to go. That is why the top nice orange and black color, that is where the participatory video comes in to this whole project. So now I'll um, look at some of the things that the elders said on cultural values and what's got me to looking at participatory video. Here's a short tape. History. Okay, so that was some um, their sentiments on how they relate culture to the well-being of their community. And so if we're talking about improvement of people li people's lifestyles and lifting up the standard of living, then we'll have to see what's, what's dear to their heart so we can work with it and while at the same time introducing some other information. And so the next video will, will introduce you to, the, to a message that, that um, was sent out using the Garamut. This is a general message, and they do have general messages where they, they talk about um, arrival of visitors to the community, but they can make specific messages because they've, uh, they've also been able to make faith-based messages for the church. And what I'm going to be playing you now is just um, calling women who are probably out somewhere in the gardens. But the drum can, they, they use the drum also in this community to, to call their, their pigs, their livestock, pigs that are out in the jungle looking for their own food. They can beat the drum and the pigs know where to go to. They go straight to the house where they belong. So we don't have to, they don't have to look for the pigs. And so a certain, another person drums, the pigs will go to that house. So they don't just get confused and go all over to anybody's house. Okay, so the drum has its potential in sending messages. Thank you. So that was the bits of the drum. 
And these are just more pictures of the, of the drum that I got from um, someone who did a PhD very lately um, in the University of Queensland in the same community where I was. Um, but this person was looking at the use of mobile phones in that community and um, happened to get, get the um, pictures of the Garamut. So that's an um, acknowledgement to Dr. Amanda Watson. I got two top photographs, uh, photographs from her and the others are my own. So um, the use of the Garamut can be sending messages. This, um, the second, second um, photograph of the Garamut is within a um, school community. And in this village, they've lost all skills in the sending and interpretation of the message. The only way they use the Garamut is to use it as a bell to get children to come to school, to, to announce the beginning of a school day and the end of a school day. Okay, so to my participatory video, what have, what have I been doing the last three, four months over here? Looking at ways of um, using participatory video in the village communities in PNG. Um, there are various purposes for participatory use of videos. One I've already said for cultural preservation. Um, and it's for capacity building, several uses for or purposes that um, literature shows for the use of videos. And it also has, has um, potential. Although in Papua New Guinea, it's not really widely used in, in research, but it does have that potential to be used as a research tool in communities, especially when you're dealing with, um, with um, indigenous knowledge. And um, participatory video has been used in other parts, especially in India and other, other um, indigenous communities, where people record information on perhaps medicinal plants in, the, in their forest, or people um, record information on the different um, methods they use to control insect pest diseases in the absence of information from science, um, agricultural research and development organizations. But um, if you're looking at participatory video, we need to look at um, the continuum that participation can be done within the communities. And I've looked at various ways that people are involved. One, the first one, focus group um, surveys. People do not handle the camera, but they sit in front of the camera and they are being recorded on what they are saying and what they are doing. Um, sometimes it's used just for video, for getting um, video of local talents telling their stories and as news items, people are used to give news. And other methods that are termed ambi um, ambitious sometimes, uh, putting the tools of the media production into the hands of the people and I am sort of bending towards that beat to put the hands of the video, the computer, whatever else goes with participatory video in the hands of the community. Um, in PNG, I might mention there is a group that works in the North Solomons province and one of my invited guests is from the North Solomons province. Um, a group called Pacific Black Box have been using media or video in this community very successfully. But the way they've done it is because there are facilitators that continue to work with the community and helping them to learn the skills of the technical skills of operating the equipment and doing the stories. The, the fourth way is of course getting community to make decisions on what sort of news they want and what media channels they were going to be using to talk about their interests. 